Hey there, cats and kittens. Today I am bringing you a pair of Uber's battles. Um, this team that I put together, it was just... I really actually just wanted to build a team around Dialga. Um, and I figured Dialga would probably be a pretty good counter for Xerneas, who's right now at the top of the rankings. And so I thought, based on Dialga, who else would go with it? Well, you need someone to take the Earthquakes, so go for, um, Grisius or, uh, Giratina. And then I figured, throw on Xerneas just for kicks. Actually, I was trying to avoid Xerneas at all costs, um, but it ended up being the best choice here. I, I was avoiding it because I didn't want to try to get a good Xerneas, but someone luckily traded one to me. Um, uh, Mewtwo is just for the sheer power. Um, Ditto is just a fun Pokemon to have in Ubers, especially against um, Geomancy uh, Xerneas. Chansey, I actually feel really bad about Chansey because it is a wish passing. I needed the wish support, and so I went ahead and downloaded one from Pokecheck. I'm sure it's hacked, and it makes me feel bad, but... It, I did what I had to do, uh, and I'm just not looking back. Uh, my opponent I met through Smogon, and he's actually carrying the same uh, Giratina, uh, Xerneas, Dialga core that I am, so I just think that's kind of funny. Uh, he led off with his um, his Genesect, though, so it almost certainly Scarf. I mean, who runs not Scarf Genesect? I guess there are other sets, but Genesect Scarf is kind of the standard. So I go out here into Marie Curie. Uh, I wonder if any of you will notice the theme for my nicknames. The only one that's not nicknamed is Xerneas, because the guy who traded to me it wasn't his it wasn't his breed. Which makes me wonder if it's hacked, because it's flawless stats, modest, and that just seems a little bit too good to be true. But you know, the RNG in X and Y is kind of weird. Like I've gotten a bunch of flawless um, flawless eggs, and the odds of that happening are a bit lower than the than what I've been seeing. But then again, I've also gotten screwed over by the RNG. Like, okay, so in battle, I get screwed over by Parahacks and um, Focus Misses all the time, as you've already seen on this channel. But uh, in breeding, like, I had to go, like, two boxes worth of Inkies um, when the odds of getting the Inky that I wanted were, like, 1 in 12. And it was just insane. Like, the odds were so... the odds just made no sense. But anyway, so... Uh, he's got his Arceus out, and I'm thinking, okay, well, let's see what he's running. Usually it's just Shadow Claw and Extreme Speed, in which case, what the hell. Um, but here he carries the Earthquake. I'm like, okay, that's interesting. So maybe he doesn't carry the Shadow Sneak. Or, not Shadow Sneak, Shadow Claw. Uh, so I go out into Dirac, uh, my Giratina. Uh, and, uh, by the way, so these aren't just, if you've gotten the theme, uh, there's a there's a reason I chose the name on every single one, except for my Mewtwo. The Mewtwo's just because it's badass. So I lose my Giratina into a Shadow Claw. I'm like, wow, that's really that's really interesting. So now I got into um, used to be named Schlock, now is named Fermi, uh, my Ditto, uh, and it's going to go ahead and copy that. I, and now I'm going to be a uh, plus two Arceus, but I need him to have the prior damage uh, if he were a bulkier set in order for me to actually do any damage to him. I'm thinking about swapping out uh, Dialga and um, Giratina for. Um, whatchamacallit, Rayquaza and um, Arceus Steel. I think that might be better, but I thought I had a good nature for Arceus Steel and I don't, so I have to go back to my uh, real-time save, uh, my uh, emul- not emulator. I'm not doing emulator, it's uh, on a flashcard, but real-time save to get the, the- to be able to get more of those uh, RCI that I have. I call them Antarceus because I'm Antar Anyway! Uh, go ahead into Xerneas here, I know I can take a Shadow Sneak, and um, I'm positive that even without Geomancy... The, the thing about Xerneas is, even without Geomancy, it's pretty damn strong, thanks to Fairy Aura. Yeah, its special attack isn't actually that high, uh, but man, uh, it's able to do a lot of work thanks to Fairy Aura. So I take it out, and uh, here I'm thinking, he, I wish he didn't outspeed. That's really the, the problem with uh, Xerneas, that doesn't have the best speed, so really Ge Geomancy... Oh, I mean, Geomancy is an awesome move, uh, and I do run the Geomancy set, but, um, yeah, I kind of wish it were faster, I like, could outrun Gengar especially. So here I go ahead and transform into Gengar, as he goes ahead and Mega Evolves. I think I still outspeed after the Mega Evolve, but I kind of just want to scout out his... I was figuring he was going to go for, um, the Poison Attack. So here he went for the Destiny Bond, and, you know, considering that I'm faster... Oh yeah, I'm, I'm scarfed, so, uh, so I was like... Crap, what am I going to do? So here I go for the Taunt, uh, because I didn't want him to Destiny Bomb again. Goes for the Sludge Bomb. I'm pretty sure I can take that. And by the way, I can switch out, but I got no one to switch in. That's the problem. So I actually, I look at the set, he doesn't carry the Shadow Ball. This is kind of amazing. So I go out into Feynman, uh, my Mewtwo, 
because Feynman and you two are both badass. Uh, although, as you're going to see in these pair of battles, I, I am having trouble getting you two to do work. It's pretty frail. Uh, so here I go ahead and um, I think I just Mega Evolve um, as he sends out his Genesect. So, no, I don't. I switch out here. I do this right because... Okay, I, whatever. I switch out. Uh, go out into Marie Curie. And uh, I think, I, I mean, Marie Curie can just take anything he dishes out. Uh, I'm, so you'll notice that I'm taking these hits. Well, okay, I'd be taking these hits the same way no matter what. Um, but I don't have special defense investment. It's This is purely a wish passing set, so full HP. That's why HP is so high. Um, you know, the standard set is 252 defense, 252 special defense. And maybe I should run that, but I don't know. Okay, so here I know that he's going to go for the Geomancy, so I need the free switch into Ditto. And I also need some prior damage. I really need some prior damage uh, for the, against this uh, Xerneas in order to be able to take it out with my Xerneas, because uh, it's not just plus two special attack, it's plus two special defense as well. So here I go for the Toxic, and he misses! Oh my god! Uh, so now he goes for the Moonblast, and is going to take out Marie Curie, and I'm hoping that... Um, Ditto will be able to take him out, but I, I'm just not seeing it likely. So, uh, Fermi goes back out, gonna take Stealth Rock damage, so it's going to die no matter what. I go ahead, Mega Evolve, and, um, I was also hoping that maybe he'd have the Psy Shock. I think Psy Shock does less, even at plus, even with the plus two. I'll put up the Calcs. But I, uh, my best choice is go to, to go to for the Moonblast. He survives. He gets a special attack fall, so maybe if I would have been at full health, I would have been able to take this hit, considering I'm also at plus two special defense. But it doesn't work out that way, and I've got no one left with who can outspeed, and no one out left who resists any of these moves. So this is good game. I think I mega evolve here just to do the mega evolve, <laughs> um, but I, nothing doing. I, this game is over. So yeah, Mewtwo Y. Uh, I actually I think it looks kind of badass. I really wish Mewtwo actually were more viable. Um, the the. The, the psychic fighting type, so it should essentially be a, a more awesome delayed, but the problem is it gets no good moves, like it doesn't get close combat. Uh, I think it's, it's hardest hitting move uh, on the fighting side is, I think it's hardest hitting move on the psychic side is, um, what's the move called? Psycho Cut? Maybe it gets Zen Headbutt, but I don't even think it gets that. Um, but yeah, so Xerneas died there and I just got body bags, so that kind of sucked. Uh, really not much I can complain about there though. It was mainly me playing badly. Uh, so if you notice in my previous videos it kind of cut off right when the battles ended. That hasn't been um, my choice there. Uh, that I've actually been going longer but for some reason when I imported to Sinolera it's been cutting it off early. Not sure how that's been happening but here, here I fixed it uh, by uh, having stuff go on after the final screen. I think it's just like it saw the redundant screen and said, why do, I, why do you want me to encode this? Well, that's stupid. It's just the same screen over and over again. So um, by making something else go after, I tricked it into doing this. So now this is uh, an opponent. Uh, this is a match against Little Joe. Little Joe saw that I was looking for Ubers battles on Small Dawn. I was like, hey, I've got an Ubers team. Let's do it. And I was like, uh, based on how Little... I was like, oh, okay, the reason I lost to Little Joe last time was because I was just drunk. I can do this this time. He said, yeah, I don't, I've never really played much Ubers. I'm just bringing six Pokemon that I thought looked good. And I was like, okay, that sounds good for me. An easy win. Um, so he goes ahead and leads up with Kyogre. I'm sacking Dialga. Um, so I, I, need to just, I need to switch up what's going on here with Dialga because um, I think I'm running Modest, Max... Uh, it's, it's either Timid or Modest, uh, Max sp Special Attack and Max Speed, and I've got Life Orb on this set. It's not really the best set. Um, but I was thinking, you know, really I wanted it more to be offensive. So here we go for the Draco Meteor, it misses, that's okay, would have resisted. So I think this is actually a, that's actually a good miss in that I can go for the focus of the, the Fire Blast here and take out that Scissor. Um, but he realizes that and switches. So uh, I go for the Fire Blast against his Kangaskhan, and that's not going to do much. But that's okay, I've got the perfect counter for Kangaskhan as long as he Mega Evolves. Um, so before he Mega Evolves, he has Scrappy, but until once he Mega Evolves, he no longer has Scrappy and can't do Jack to Giratina. So here he goes ahead and Mega Evolves. That's A-OK. -okay. Um, and I'm like, sweet, your fake out will do nothing to me. And he ac he actually went for the return. Well, still not going to do anything. And so here's he's going to go for the Shadow Claw. 
going to do a metric ton of damage, um, but considering it's the two hits, but I'm actually able to take that okay. Had I gone for the Outrage, I think I would have KO'd, but I went for the Earthquake simply because I didn't want him to be able to switch in his Xerneas quite this early. So I go ahead and switch out here. I go out into Einstein because I figure I've got to sack someone and I'd rather be Einstein at 49 HP. Now, I mean, I do have the Wish Passing, but Wish Passing is kind of hard to pull off in Ubers. I may retool this entire team um, so that it doesn't rely on Wish Passing and it's just more offensive. But, eh, oh well. It's, it, the thing about this team is on Showdown, it's actually my most successful team. Um, even my... Uh, I, I've actually done a different Little Cup team and that's... Uh, okay. I'll tell you about that later, but this is my most successful um, team right now. It wins a decent amount of the time, but I don't know uh, why it's not working in Wi-Fi. Uh, I forgot about the Sucker Punch. I totally forgot that he got Sucker Punch, and um, he gets a crit. I'm not sure whether that crit mattered. I'll put up some counts, but Mewtwo is down, and Feynman has done nothing in either of my matches. Feynman is worthless. So now I go out into Fermi, and I'm hoping that he has to fake out because I don't want to dick around with Sucker Punch, but I'm hoping he has the fake out so I can just take him out. And he does, and he doesn't switch out, because he could have switched out, but he, I just take out his um, King's Con right there, but it does mean I'm going to have to switch out next turn as he goes out into Arceus. Yeah. So I don't really have any, it turns out I don't really have any good counters for Arceus on this team. Uh, that's not great. So here I go out into... Um, so I'm hoping he doesn't carry the Shadow Claw, uh, but uh, you know it would be really stupid not to carry the Shadow Claw. And indeed, he does carry the Shadow Claw. So basically, this was just sacking Durak so I could switch out Ditto and hope that he's not running max HP. If he's not running max HP. I can probably KO. Um, that, he doesn't have Light Orb either, so this isn't looking good. Um, so Fermi transforms uh, into his Arceus. And I go for the extreme speed, and at plus two, I don't think it's going to take, I really didn't think it was going to take him out. Uh, and he told me afterwards he's running full HP investment, as one should, and Fermi's now taken out, so that sucks. Uh, I go up, back out, I go out into Marie Curie. Marie Curie is at full health, so I'm thinking at that range of health, maybe a seismic toss can take him out. So Marie Curie does take the hit. Survives with 128 HP, and I go for the seismic toss. Now I know it's only going to do 50 damage to playing this at level 50. I was surprised to survive at all, and that kind of sucks. So, um, Curie is going to Marie Curie is going to die. Crit doesn't matter. And now my last Pokemon is Xerneas. Xerneas actually has a decent amount of bulk though, so maybe it can take the hit. We'll see. Uh, I'm obviously not going to um, Geomancy, so you're not going to get to see me Geomancy either battle. So here he goes for the extreme speed. I actually survive on 20, so that's great. And I am, I'm i going to prevent this from being a body bag because I'm going to take up two of his Pokemon. But he's got that scissor, so he's just going to send in the scissor and, it, and he's going to kill me with a bullet punch. I mean, that's the way this goes. So, um, yeah, Little Joe, that's two really embarrassing losses I've had to you. Especially considering you say, you know, you've never done, you don't really do Little Cup and you don't really do... Yeah, he told me you've never done Little Cup before. And now he's telling me he's never done, uh, or he doesn't really do Ubers very often. So, um, that's just kind of embarrassing. Uh, so, still good game, Little Joe. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, folks.